welcome back to my channel i hope uh, you're fine i hope you're staying safe and i hope you're having an amazing day this is julia builds here and uh, today we are going to build a japanese traditional home so i'd like uh, to make a disclaimer right away as i'm not an expert on the japanese architecture style interior design and so on I'm not such uh, an expert on the uh, culture and traditions and uh, all you're going to see is solely based on my research on the internet so uh, I built this one based on pictures and um, references, paintings and stuff like this I was asked to build this one by uh, one of my followers uh, over on Tumblr and he asked me if I could build a um, Japanese traditional home or something similar with at least four bedrooms so it had to be um, quite big actually that's why this house ends up having two floors and yeah I managed to fit four bedrooms so there are uh, two kid kids room one team's room and a uh, master bedroom from the parents and uh, actually the floor plan um, has been a bit of a problem because uh, I don't know if you know but in Japan whenever there is uh, an entrance door uh, there is also uh, a kind of sunken area into the ground or maybe I should say that uh, the overall apartment should be raised up from the ground but we cannot do that in the sims so I had to use a trick to create some split leveling because actually there are a lot of doors that go uh, to the exterior part of the house and um, I used the trick in which you build a room it has to be enclosed and then you press on the floor and you do remove floor in this way you will see the grass beneath it because obviously it was built on uh, on the grass and then you can simply add uh, a flooring in this case I added a um, wooden floor and in this way you'll have uh, a kind of sunken area which is the area in which uh, um, basically you remove your shoes and um, you hang your coats and so on uh, as always i'm not an expert on it so if some informations are not correct i'm sorry and uh, if you know something more uh, also let me know given that uh, i don't want to um, divulgate uh, something uh, mistaken or wrong also another thing i discovered while researching about uh, interiors in japan uh, is that uh, um, the toilet room is a uh, completely separate room in respect from the rest of the bathroom so in respect from uh, the sink and the um, bathtub or uh, shower and actually this is a peculiar thing and I didn't know about it uh, as uh, here in Italy obviously we are not used to that and I tried to recreate it uh, as better as I could uh, in this house and this house ends up having three bathrooms and or better two bathrooms and uh, one half bathroom given that uh, on the lower level on the first floor i wasn't able to fit uh, um, a bigger bathroom and so um, downstairs there are only a toilet and a sink which are placed in two separate rooms but actually let's talk about the exterior part of the house given that it's the first thing you're going to see and as you can see it ends up being uh, not such a huge house and obviously i had to use different tools because by the time i'm addicted to them i i love using them i love creating new things with them mostly building houses on a hill and also let's talk about uh, why this world um, looks like this one and uh, it's because of a moat but the house is absolutely CC free uh, it doesn't contain any custom content it doesn't contain any mods or anything like that 
So you can download it from the gallery. Uh, all the information, all the informations, obviously, are down below in the descri description box. And yeah, this mod is called the Asian Adventures, and it is from Nando. Uh, I'll put a link down below in the description of this video, and uh, it turns Forgotten Hollow, which is the world we got with vampires, into Sakura Hills, which is this amazing world uh, that looks like uh, indeed a Japanese world. And I was so excited to try it out. Actually, I had downloaded it uh, a long time ago and uh, I couldn't wait to test it out uh, myself uh, because I've seen some reviews uh, here on YouTube and uh, yeah, I'm not such a, a big fan of Forgotten Allo, it's really dark, um, it's not really my style uh, with all the Victorian houses and so yeah. I have never built in Forgotten Hollow. And this house is placed uh, where um, Vlad Strauss's house used to be. Um, and yeah, I bulldozed it and uh, removed him completely. And um, yeah, other than that, uh, I really, really love this world. It looks amazing. It's so stunning with all the cherry trees. It's all pink and light the light is great um, and yeah i think i'm not going to remove it from my game as i don't like forgotten Hollow um, at all and i never play with vampires and um yeah i guess uh, that's it about this mod yeah another thing i wanted to add actually is that uh, it's not uh, a common mod I mean to install it you yeah you obviously need to put uh, some files in your mods folder but then um, you have to actually manually replace Forgotten Allo um, with Sakura Hills which is the new world but anyway uh, everything is explained in uh, Nando's Patreon page so if you are interested and you want to download this one you can find everything uh, on his page and as I told you it will be linked down below so you won't have problems to loading it uh, instead uh, let's talk about the exterior which is a thing I should have done way sooner in this video but I'm only doing it now um, this house ends up being quite on the yeah it's a traditional Japanese house but uh, it doesn't have the look of uh, like a pagoda or something, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, it ends up being, it ends up looking more like a family house. And actually I struggled a lot with the um, roofing. Um, because other than being really, really slanted, which I read it's because in Japan it rains a lot, I guess. I don't want to be mistaken so I'm sorry if the information are not correct but anyway the reason why the roofing are so slanted and inclined let's say um, it's because apparently in Japan it rains a lot and so having the roofing in this way prevents the rain from falling inside the house also because in Japan they are uh, massive fans of uh, light and so they have a lot of uh, windows, uh, uh, open door or better sliding doors that you can open and uh, look uh, onto the exterior. And so in this way, having the roof in, made this way, they can open their doors without um, the rain coming inside the house, going inside the house. And uh, yeah, I found this fact really fascinating and uh, I really liked uh, reading about it. I hope it's correct <laughs> anyway because as I told you, you know, I'm not uh, an expert as always. Um, yeah, I struggled a lot with the roofing and also you may ask yourself why there is a wall surrounding the whole house and I found this thing because they they also um, like... Uh, they like to have a lot of privacy and so they have these big fences uh, um, really often with uh, some roofing on it 
and given that we don't have a fence with actually a roof on it, I decided to um, build a wall that surrounds the whole property. Yeah, another thing I forgot to mention and uh, that actually was supposed to be at the beginning of the video but I'm an idiot and I forgot about it is that uh, I'm starting a series on my channel which is going to be called Let's Travel or something like that actually I'm still not so sure about it I have asked on Instagram and Twitter if some of you could uh, suggest a name for it because I'm actually uh, really bad uh, with names um, yeah, basically uh, what I wanted to do is uh, taking inspiration from architectures around the world and starting uh, this series in which uh, I'm going to create houses uh, with that precise architectural style and uh, in the video I'm going to talk about uh, the place and the traditions and uh, whatever I can find um, um, about the, the style or the interior design, uh, the reasoning behind uh, some choices. And yeah, um, I'm going to put this one in that playlist and alongside with my Tuscan Villa, uh, which, is, uh, which I'm going to link down below anyway, uh, the playlist with all the videos. And yeah, I think it's really a nice idea because um, I really like to learn more and explore um, about new cultures and actually um, if I wasn't studying veterinary for sure I would be studying architecture or design or something like that because since I was a kid I've been in love with building and creating houses. I remember that uh, when I was a little girl I used to play with, um, actually I don't know, uh, I would say that in English, I guess building blocks, it's the correct way. And I used to build castles and houses and everything I could possibly imagine. And so my love for building uh, has been in me since like forever. Another thing about uh, the exterior of this house is that uh, other than uh, the house looking uh, like a Japanese a traditional home. I also wanted the garden to look like a Japanese garden. And so I looked a lot for reference pictures and um, actually I have to say I struggled a bit with it because I really didn't know what to do. And yeah, I saw that um, there are a lot of colorful trees, red and pink mostly, um, but also a lot of green, a lot of statues. And so I, uh, a lot of ponds also, and so I decided to build a pond actually, um, and it's going to be on the right side of the building, uh, it's going to be a bit cramped up, uh, also because I wanted to include also a bridge, and so there is also a bridge, it's functional, I pre-tested it, so everything works. And um, yeah, the garden is not so big uh, because of uh, um, the hill and also because the biggest lot uh, in Forgotten Hollow is actually uh, 40 by 30. Uh, even though I would have loved to have either a 50 by 50 or a 64 by 64 because uh, this would have allowed me to have more room. But uh, unfortunately, I have to work with... Uh, um, what the game offers and so yeah I have to go for a 30 by 30 and yeah um, the pond I really like the pond area because it looks really natural I'm sure to use the um, pool texture in which uh, there are like cherry petals or something like that they are like pink petals and I also built um, um, a waterfall if you want to call it like that uh, by using uh, fountains, I mean the little fountains, water emitters, I don't know how they're called, um, that are in the fountain section and then I placed also um, a lot of greenery uh, but uh, the peculiar thing I saw is that um, Japanese gardens are really manicured, uh, it looks like they're really taken care of and so I didn't want a uh, more natural and uh, disorganized uh, landscaping. I wanted it to be well structured and um, with a lot of bushes, 
Um, I use the base game ones that have a round shape um, because yeah, I, I saw that aspect in a, a lot of pictures. And then I also uh, wanted a sort of gazebo and I play, I'm going to place it uh, or I've already placed it, I really, I'm really not paying attention. Um, on, on the hill, really close to the house, and uh, I'm going to place there um, a dining table, a rounded dining table with some chairs, so this family can uh, all eat together in, the, um, uh, in this gazebo and <laughs> overlook at the amazing world surrounding them. Also, I saw um, what it's called a Tory gate, I guess, I'm not sure about the pronunciation, but practically it's a um, reddish uh, kind of gate um, that it's uh, in a lot of garden and parks in Japan and I wanted to recreate also that and so I used uh, some columns from Discovery University and then with some roofing I created the uh, kind of uh, inclined, uh, rounded, uh, I don't know how to explain it, part on top of it and uh, I guess you're going to see it uh, better in the video and um, yeah I saw that it's a really common feature in gardens and parks and so I really really wanted to include it and uh, it's going to be placed uh, in front of the gazebo um, and it's going to be red obviously also the roofing is going to be red and actually I'm really pleased with how it came out it took me a bit to figure out how to roof only uh, columns but eventually I, I made it and yeah I'm so so pleased with it then uh, in the back of the house I decided to create on the right side uh, looking from the front I created another tiny section of the garden given that I had a bit of space uh, while on the left side of the back I created another entrance so there, there are going to be stairs that um, go from uh, uh, let's call it the back door to towards the gate instead uh, let's talk about the interior as I told you I wanted to create those sunken areas uh, at every and each and every single one entrance so there are going to be uh, four I guess because there are four entrances and also I found that the Discovery University divider uh, as a swatch that look like uh, the sliding doors um, really really typical in Japan and so I um, put an archway and I um, inserted the divider uh, inside of it so it looks like a sliding door but uh, again you're going to see it in a few then about the kitchen and living room I saw a lot of pictures of them, a lot of references and the kitchens are mostly wooden and so I decided to go for a light wood um, yeah and obviously it's all pre-tested, everything works and at the same time I wanted it to be um, kind of modern I mean the family that now lives here I pictured them as um, anyway living in the in this century and so they have everything they should need all the appliances and so on and uh, yeah it's all functional it all works and also in the pictures I saw that um, the floor plan is kind of open and so there aren't uh, like boxes of rooms uh, in the living spaces and so I created a sort of uh, I call it room, but it's not really a room, I mean it's really um, open, that divides the kitchen from the living room area. Uh, the living room area ends up being really really small and uh, I wanted to add there um, a table with some seats on the floor because they are really common again and so I placed um, one of those tiny tables that in reality should be uh, like for a retail store um, in the middle and then some pillows and cushions on the floor I guess they came with moving out I don't remember um, yeah and I really like how they look and then there is a television and well it's also minimal um, because also this <laughs> I found in the picture that 
Japanese um, interior design is really minimal and clean um, and really light uh, and yeah so I couldn't include a lot of clutter even though I love to include clutter obviously I had to put a few otherwise <laughs> it would have been super empty and I don't like it but I hope uh, that anyway is uh, as accurate as possible and for a long part of the building process I had forgotten to put stairs because I'm a genius and so I had forgotten and then I had to kind of figure out where to put them and they end up being really close to the entrance so we are going to see um, where they end up being and also another thing about the living room <clears throat> I decided to use um, again the um, those dividers from Discovery University that look like sliding doors and I really really like uh, how they look I think they are really well fitting and also kind of realistic if I say so myself um, and yeah, I hope uh, you are going to like them as well and about the second floor as I told you there are going to be four bedrooms uh, the first one is going to be right um, um, alongside the stairs and uh, uh, the other ones are going to be um, a bit more in the back of the house and yeah as I told you um, there, they are four uh, but there is actually room for um, a kid, three kids and uh, a teen and two parents so it's quite a, a big house I mean it has room for a lot of people and then on the second floor there are going to be uh, two bathrooms and in one um, there is going to be also the, the laundry room. And yeah, other than that, I think the only thing I wanted to mention is uh, uh, that I've used uh, wood in all the house and um, walls are from Ala Living because I guess they were uh, really fitting, I really like them. And um, but in the living room and the bedrooms I decided to use carpet because uh, actually uh, in Japan they sleep on the floor I mean they have like um, some covers and blankets that they lay on the floor and then they sleep on them uh, also with pillows but obviously we don't have uh, such a thing in the sims so I had to use beds anyway um, yeah and I guess that's pretty much it other than that, I guess I said everything I wanted to say. Uh, obviously, you can find this one on the gallery and uh, my ID and all the information you need are in the description down below. Um, yeah, obviously, remember to insert the move objects sheet before placing this slot because I used it a lot and otherwise some objects uh, will be misplaced. misplaced. Um, you can subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content and also you can leave some comments with suggestions or ideas or whatever you want to tell me i'll be sure to read them all and uh, i'm really thankful for your support and your comments uh, they make me really happy and i am also really joyful that you enjoy um, my speed builds, my contents and I promise I will get better at uh, voiceovers. I'm really working hard on it and this one is really long and yeah I'm so proud of myself uh, because I was able to pull off such a long voiceover and yeah other than that I guess that's it for me today. I hope uh, I'll see you in my next one and I hope you're staying safe, healthy, staying at home mostly and playing the sims as always um, hopefully i'll see you uh, really really soon i hope you enjoy this video uh, if you did please leave a like leave a comment subscribe and yeah i'll see you all really soon bye